All right, this is my first attempt at uh, making a video and showing you how this um, Stratix Raspberry Pi works. Um, lately, I've been using a uh, Xeon PCAS, uh, but it's always nice to see something on the iPad if you're using ForeFlight or Wing X Pro or any of those tools, even the Garmin. Um, especially as a flight instructor, because uh, flight instructors basically, uh, you know, are working with the students a lot and they need to see uh, the information pretty quickly to identify airplanes that are flying close around you or in your area, especially if you're, you know, always seeing a void, but it's always nice to have something else extra. So um, I decided to get the, um, you know, the recommendation of the two devices for the new electric. So we would get uh, additional antennas so we can get both the uh, traffic and, and weather uh, with both the antennas. Uh, not only that, that uh, if you order the Vilros uh, setup, I think it's about $69 or even $73 and it comes with uh, a new LEC uh, device, antenna actually I should say, um, and it also comes with the Stratix uh, 8 gig uh, card that you can go ahead and insert into the um, the Raspberry Pi computer. Uh, it, it'll work out really nicely. Um, but the install is pretty straightforward. Um, once you basically ordered it, um, it uh, it'll come in maybe three or four days, and you know start putting stuff together. Uh, so basically, just uh, put all the case together that comes along with it. A little bit difficult to, to snap into place. Uh, that's what I've noticed. Um, takes a little bit of finesse. Can like kind of lock it in there. Uh, make sure that the the, the case is uh, in tight so nothing falls out there. Uh, also, really important, um, you want to make sure that you've uh, inserted the um, the gig card after uh, you put the uh, the case on, not before. Otherwise, you know you could smash the uh, the card and you have to go through the, the process of installing the card uh, you know or hooking it up to your computer and downloading the uh, the software to uh, install the OS on the uh, on the actual uh, through the USB interface or whatnot however you want to do that and then everything else is, is pretty straightforward um, there's not a lot of whole not a lot of room uh, for you know connecting stuff but it does fit uh, so you have the um, the supported uh, Wi-Fi adapter, so that's the uh, Edimax, and then uh, we can just go ahead and insert uh, a few of these uh, devices here. You can see how that works. You have your antennas, and uh, I can put this on the top. Well, let's take a look. Actually, I think I bought one of these extender cables, so it's actually easier. Uh, and uh, two of them are not going to fit together, um, or at least the new electric. Uh, new elect uh, devices aren't going to fit together unless you have this uh, ex USB extension cable. I, um, but everything else is pretty easy after that. Um, I got a, uh, uh, a larger battery than what they uh, recommended. Uh, you know, basically it's a 2,000 mil milliamp portable charger, uh, anchor uh, power core, uh, which is also pretty nice. Um, and uh, once you've connected everything up. Uh, Basically, just uh, and I'm also waiting for the uh, VK172 GPS. Um, if you want to do the AHARS configuration, um, you have to order that through eBay, um, and that's a uh, RY835AI and that comes with a little extra configuration. So um, you can work through that. I'm sure it's going to be pretty easy, but just to show you how it works, um, basically, uh, you connect it up and uh, you know, you'll see uh, the green light flashing. Basically, it's just going through the the boot cycle. It's a Linux-based OS, OS, and um, once it's up and running, you'll see uh, basically on your iPad, you just connect the Wi-Fi. I'm just going to pull this up here, and uh, hopefully, it'll connect up here shortly. But by the way, you should see all the blue lights or the white lights on these uh, antennas. And uh, basically, I'm just going to go through here and open up my Wi-Fi and you should actually see uh, the Stratix uh, listed down below here so you can see it right here it's uh, Stratix and we just click on that and 
from there we're just going to go into uh, four flight and I have uh, four flight and uh, hopefully uh, I should start seeing some uh, traffic and it actually comes up uh, right away uh, which is which is pretty nice so just kind of wait for a few seconds here Let's see if there's uh, some traffic uh, in the area and I just want to go through and make sure my device is online you can see the device in for flight uh, you should see free flight is connected and shows uh, GPS and ADSB just gonna see if I can zoom out here and see if we got anything on screen It might take a little bit for it to start popping up. I mean, there there is traffic that was out there. Um, I ran through a test run earlier, and you know, seeing stuff. So especially in, in this area, uh, it's quite busy with uh, the Washington D.C. area. So see if I can maybe get this pop that out a little bit there. Anything else here? And uh, just to show you that traffic is enabled, you have that. Otherwise, if you didn't want the traffic, you can just take that off. And uh, let's uh, click on traffic. And well, surprisingly, there's not a lot of traffic in this guy's tonight. But it, in any case, uh, it does work. Um, and you're, uh, you know, you definitely would see some traffic. Uh, but right now I guess it's, you know, there's not anything showing up on, on TIS, which is Traffic Information Services. But uh, anyway, good luck, and uh, I'll, I'll send an update if, if something does come across there. So thanks. Bye-bye.